This is just the walk speed, guys. Now this is run. Do 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 do. Hello, Raptor. You are die. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome back to another episode of Modded Ark Eternal Crystal Isles. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. All right, we are back, and we're headed towards our boss spawner area, which I believe is actually right over here. Uh, I just wanted to fly over there. I went and got the uh, bone skin between episodes for our power wyvern, just so he wouldn't be so bright and shiny. It's kind of annoying, and I can imagine it kind of reduces performance a bit from what I've seen and heard in the past. So, uh, today, we're going to work on getting the last of the stuff done for our Dark Star. So, I already got most of the stuff over here so we can spawn the Dark Star. Uh, baddie that we need to kill for the element. Just need to come down here. Uh, yeah, so this might be a shorter episode just because of all the preparation that went involved for this episode. Had to go uh, and do some more harvesting to get a bunch more souls because I came back here and realized, oh, it uh, requires 15 generic souls to summon this guy. Uh, an artifact, well, that's pretty easy on this map. They're everywhere. I just need to actually start putting a teleporter down on them so it's even easier. So I'm just coming back with the 300 dino blood. We have our 25 hearts. All that good stuff right here. And Dark Star Matrix. Uh, uh, no. Get out of it. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Let's get out of there. I don't want to die to this thing. Let's back up a little bit. I have no idea how big it's going to be. I can imagine... So, I was doing testing while I was uh, harvest, harvesting stuff with our Power Wyvern here. And he does at least 3 million with the Breath Weapon. I tried it on a Dodo Rex to start. And he had, like, exactly 3 million HPs. It was dead uh, within the Breath Weapon. So, look. At, let's see. What does this guy have for HPs? You are... 6.5 million? That should not be hard at all. Let's see, can we even reach it from here? Nope. Let's wait for our breath to come back. Still, there we go. Now we're hitting it. Oh, yeah. Suck it. Oh, yeah. He's going to be dead. Oh, he has minions. Oh, crap. We did it! Oh wow, we unlocked a bunch of uh, other things here. Wow, how... Oh, his minions have 5.4 million HPs. Oh man. Uh, yep, let's just kind of hold them here. I Now there's going to be minions running all around the world. crap -oh. oh man. Wow, this is... <laughs> It wasn't too hard to take him down, but the fact that all these minions have so much HPs as well is not going to make it easy. Alright, grab all this stuff. Oh, they're coming back. They're coming in for the attack formation. Suck it, and enjoy the breath weapon. It is your friend and your ally. Not really, it'll kill him. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Not too much more. There we go. Did we get the element thing we need? I don't see it. Oh, uh, let's go harvest his body and hope, 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 hope for the best. All right, he has a bag. Looks like all the uh, the guys despawned. Please, mystery element. Yeah. Exactly what we need to finish off the uh, last tier of the Dark Star. Good, good, good. I'm so excited. So let's see here. I kind of wonder... Actually, it might have been easier with our Giga, just for the fact that he does 1.3 million per bite. But, I, you know, I wanted to try it out with our Wyvern, because, you know, why not? Uh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to show you how much HPs he got uh, after, in the last episode. He has... What is this? Trying to count here. Is that 100? 
Another hundred, three hundred and forty-six million. Not too bad. I thought it was higher than that, but th I mean that's still pretty good. Not anywhere near a gigas though, which is over a billion if I remember correctly. It's cool. Let let's just check to remember. What do you have? You have that, that, that. Yeah, almost two billion HPs. So yeah, you're a big boy. I probably should have used you, but hey, it was fun to use our. Power Wyvern, which, who I actually gave a name now. When I got this bone skin on him, I was like, ooh, Reaper. Very fun thing. So, we're going to head back to the base here real quick and get the uh, the next... I think we should be ready for the next uh, tier of the evolution, which I think is the Giga. And then we have the Dodo Rex evolution, and then the final one for the Dark Star. So, I want to head back to the base here and bring it back when we arrive and we're ready to evolve it into a evolution giga all right guys we're back i am just grabbing the eternal kibble right now i need what 50 of them so we need 15 dino hearts 15 dino dna we need 50 eternal kibble 50 alpha kibble and oh i almost forgot zerp 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 the uh, amazingness of the lag at our base uh, that's not what I forgot. I almost forgot the Matrix Core right there. So let's head out here and get this guy evolving again. I'm excited to see what the Evolution Giga looks like. And what else am I looking for? Ah, Matrix Core right there. Uh, Evolve you. Oh, yeah, you're going to be freaking amazing. I cannot wait to see what you're going to be like, my friend. So, now it's just a matter of waiting for the blueness to reach the top and him to become an evolution giga. Alright, so I want to make sure to say while he's doing this that I hope you guys are having a great day. My day is going quite well, and I really hope you enjoy this episode. It took a lot of work and preparation. Alright, and we've done it. The evolution giga. Alright. So cool. Hello there, my friend. Welcome to the world. Just looking around here. Oh, yeah, I see you. You're so bright red. It's amazing. All right, so what do we need for the next one? 50, 50 again, 20, 20, 75 ages, one matrix core. All right, well, I'm going to go get the stuff to get his ages going, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to evolve him again. It's going to be quite a bit of cutting until we get with all the evolutions once we get him to a dark star though we're gonna go try him out and see how epic and amazing he is so i'm gonna get all these levels crafted and bring you back when we're ready to turn it into an evolution dodo rex all right guys we're back so i'm just grabbing the last of the stuff here to get him up to the uh the dodo rex let's see just one more. There we go. We should have everything we need. Okay. Evolution Giga. Become an Evolution Dodorex, please. Oh, I forgot. Like usual, I forgot the Matrix. Let me get, just make sure. Yep, that is the one last thing we have left. Right over here. Like so. Matrix. Right there. Oh, yeah. Let's go here. Man, pooping up a storm over here. Matrix Core, evolve you once again. So there's one more evolution after this guy, and we will have him completed. So goodbye, Evolution Giga, and say hello to Evolution Dodo Rex in just a moment. Here we go. Are you guys ready? I'm ready for the new guy. Come on, change up, and come on, you can do it. Become a Dodo Rex. I believe in you. Yes, the Evolution Dodo Rex. All right, let's get rid of you, just like so. Man, you're pretty cool looking. Man, you're huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wow. You have a really close follow distance, don't you? Let's bring you over here. Jeez, you're huge. 
That's what she said. All right, so I think... No, I'm going to keep him up here just to be safe. I was thinking about bringing him down below just because he's so massive. I want to make sure we don't accidentally do something wrong. But what do we have for the last evolution here? We have 100 Alpha Kibble, Kibble 100 Eternal Kibble, 100 Ages, 1 Matrix Core, uh, 2 Mystery Element. What? Okay, and 15 Tokens. Well, yeah. I really wanted to get him to that today, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're going to have to do that for the next episode. Let's see. We're going to have to try to find something else to tame, I think, today. Uh, let me just think about it, and I'll bring you guys back, because I was not expecting it to take two of those things and to take tokens as well. So, yeah, we just used up a lot of our tokens to make our power wyvern. wyvern. So, yeah, I'll bring you guys right back. All right, guys, we're back. So, sorry about the fail there. I was, uh, at least we got to see what it takes to evolve up to the evolution Dodo Rex so far. I will do a whole bunch of farming for uh, getting things ready for the next episode so we can evolve it into Dark Star, which is so good because really starting to run out of time in this episode. So, I'm thinking we might just go tame a Robo Stego because I've heard that they have been updated and have some good stuff on them. So let's see if we can't find a good one. All right. Go down to the R's. Robo. Robo. Where's the Stego? Robot Stego. Oh, wow. Some decent ones here. I think that's... I'm trying to think of what's close by. All right. I think this is the closest one. That guy is pretty high up just trying to think about where to go I think we'll actually go for this one 71 67 71 67 where are you whenever the map loads up 71 67 sorry I keep repeating it but I don't want to forget all right come on load up map okay so 71 67 is actually out that direction past I think like near the zone that hasn't been finished yet that's gonna be the aberration zone so yeah let's go ahead and hop on primer come on primer man the lags in the base has become real lately head this direction and uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and head this direction try to figure out where that robot stego is and we're gonna get this guy tamed up all right, guys, we're back. So according to the map, I think it should be right in this little bay area. I think this is what you would call a bay. So just been making my way over. Try to find this Robo Stego. Hopefully it's not too hard to find. Especially with everything else already gone through in this episode. All right, just trying to see about things loading in here wait is that nope that's a uh, Sarko hold on let me get out of what am I in K mode nope that's not K up oh. oh huh somehow I turned backspace on uh, let's see get our awesome spyglass on where is this guy huh Somewhere around here. It was 7167. Man, you're not going to make it easy for me, are you, robot? Robot Sego. So 7167. Might be a little bit more over here. Come on, I'm waiting for this map to load. It's annoying when it does this. And it's just a blurred out map, and you gotta wait for it to show up. Just looking around down there to see if I can't see it. Will you load if I turn you this way? Okay, just trying to th see here. 71, 67 should really be right around here somewhere. Oh, there he is, right there. Ha! Ha! Okay. So, yeah. Oh, that's a level 500. Where's the level 600? 
Is there a level 600 here too? Hello? Anyone hanging around here? I'm thinking we might just go with the 500 just because, I mean, it's for harvesting for the most part. And I don't want to try to have to find something else. So, let's give it up. Oh, come on. Give it a hit. Let's see, actually, how much topor do you have? 12.5 million. This is going to take a little bit of time. Ouch. Oh, wow. 644 damage from you. That's awesome. All right. Oh, look at that. 3.2 million topor for one hit, though. I just hope he doesn't run out into the water when he runs away. Oh, did I not hit you? There we go. Now I know I hit you. Let's try and drag him, yeah, this way. Where are you? There you are. Come on. Come on. Let me bite your face. There we go. I got him. Are you running away already? Hey, look, it's a mole rat. Did they finish this zone? I don't remember seeing an update for uh, aberration stuff on Crystal Isles. Right, we got him again. But it seems like this zone actually has things in it now, like the new aberration-ish type zone. All right, the buff went away. Did I hit you? I don't know if I got it. I don't think I did, nope. There we go, now I got you. Come this way, my friend. Come this way. Be mine. Be my friend. Get over here. So fast. Where's... Come here. Come here. You're gonna die. Goodbye, Diego. Oh, he's knocked out. All right, that was not too bad. I, well, I want to take care of this... Roll rat real quick. And hopefully there's nothing else horrible around here that's going to eat our face. Come on, land. Land. Is this water? Oh, I guess that's just enough water to not let me land. I went back and made sure to grab some eternal berries. Are we safe? I think we're safe. Let's go over here. Shove those in your area face. And uh, hang out and wait for this guy to tame up. Hopefully it won't take too, too long. Let's see what happens when he eats one, which shouldn't be too far away. Did you just eat? Hold on. Let me reset it on you. Come on. Pick it up. Oh, wow. 76%. So, yeah, he should be done in no time. Uh, so, yeah, I'll bring you guys back when he uh, tames up. All right. We have tamed the Robot Stego. There we go. All right. So, I think we're still safe over here, right? All right. I'm going to hop off here. Get our stuff back off on him. I'm going to head back to the base, get a saddle made for him. And I'll bring you guys back when we uh, check out what he's capable of with the harvest and all the other cool stuff. Actually, wow. 1.2 million health is not bad. Huh. All right. Well, yeah. I'll bring you guys right back. All right, guys, we're back and jumping off the world here. Boop. Okay, so I just got a regular vanilla saddle. Uh, saddle. I think that should do it. Yep, uh, I didn't upgrade or anything. Not too worried about that right now. Just want to try him out and see what he's capable of. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I heard that they've made it so his run speed, oh, wow, has not been re really been reduced when it's been tamed. And, of course, with my computer, it's going to be a little bit laggy. This is just the walk speed, guys. Now, this is run. Hello, Raptor. You are die. Oh, ouch. Okay, Cursed Elemental Raptor dead. Uh, luckily, this guy has a lot of HPs, so it's not that big of a problem. Looking for this fart cloud to go away, though. Wow, there's a lot of bad stuff here right now. Ooh, wait, what did we get from a bush? Okay, we got, oh, from bushes. It's kind of like the uh, the Anklio, where we get uh, 
the mushrooms, all the like rock carrots and long grass, the stuff that you would farm with. That's cool. Let's back up a little bit. Oh, the turning radius is horrible. Of course. Let's try to see here. Actually, we got a tree. Let's see if we can get anything cool with a tree. Ooh, cementing paste, wood. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. A lot of good stuff. So we got the fiber, cementing paste, wood, clay, uh, some gems. What else did we get? Uh, some basic materials. I think, we, wow, congealed gas balls. That's pretty good. We got fungal wood from it as well. What I really want to see too is if we can harvest the crystals and rock. Oh, we can. We get crystals. An element ore from that leech blood because it's the red crystals. All right, all right. Can I find a rock somewhere around here? Gosh, back up. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, come on. Is this guy going to take a thousand years to turn around? I think it might, actually. Wow. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to teleport, actually, to Rowan's base area and check things out there because I know there's plenty of resources over there. So, right there. I'll bring you guys back in a second and we'll try things out more. Okay, well, we uh, didn't have to really wait any time because it was quick, nice travel over here. Rowan's been nice and busy getting things done in his own base. Actually, do you swim fine? Do you s uh, hold on, I'm trying to see if you swim fast. Oh yeah, he does swim fast. Come on. Okay, are we going to have the same problem now because I went speeding along? Okay, let's see what we get from a stone. Okay, we get tons of flint. Well, not tons, but a decent amount of flint and nothing else. So, obviously, he's not a flint gatherer. But this guy would definitely be better than, than the Anki coming out because he has a much bigger AoE. So, we can just sit here and get a lot more stuff faster. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So good. Oh, I love this guy. So good. And he's crazy fast, which makes it even better. I didn't realize what the damage was. Let's actually check it out. 31,000? That's actually not bad. Let's see what happens when we get like 17 levels in the guy. Okay, can I move? Are, are you going to let me move? Okay, there we go. Man, never bump movement speed on this guy or you will never be able to control anything. Come on, I'm trying to hit something. 52,000, so it went up about 20,000 from a point. So, I don't know, maybe uh, a thousand damage per point you put in. Not really sure. Uh, we'll have to find out more when we get it leveled up completely at some point. But really, at this point, I uh, don't really have much more time for today's episode. So, I gotta say that. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode of modded arc eternal crystal isles if you did don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe so you miss out on all the daily videos hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always don't forget to live long and prosper